Uber Lapis here. So a little update to my unboxing video yesterday. I guess kind of could be an update to the uh, A2 tool steel knife stock. Uh, this is out of that stock. I got six foot of it, particularly to make this knife, and I have another one similar. Uh, this is like a, a bushcraft hunting type of knife and got my grinder up and running and it's phenomenal with with ceramic belts and everything this is full flat ground oh uh, this is like it's not finished uh, obviously I guess I should have started with that it's a uh, rough ground out um, you can see up in here it's not quite full flat ground out a little ridge is still left there uh, this is still really coarse grit uh, I might hit it with a one type finer grip for gives in the heat tree and I'll have to drill out where my rivets are going to go in and I might modify this hump down a little bit but it's pretty comfortable in the hand as is it'll just be thicker when the handles on it as you can see it's that's all rough right here but uh blades like six inches uh, inch and quarter wide this way with a nice full flat ground on it, but man, that grinder is phenomenal. This is going to be my first uh, like prototype of, of this design of knife here, and uh, yeah, it grinds pretty darn flat there at the light. It's going to be refined here, finer grits in, but uh, plunge line's not even down quite the whole way. It's probably like on 85 90 percent ground, so it's not finished. And oh, what I have here is a couple boards in the background. This is a zebra wood. I've made a couple knife handles with this before. It's not the hardest of woods, but if I soak the ever living shit out of it with uh, tongue oil and let it soak in real deep, it, it really strengthens up. I mean, it's fairly strong. It's it's a real fibrous wood. It's it's really odd grain. But it's a it's really neat looking. Um. This is what I'm going to use the handle for this one here, for this prototype. I'm going to beat the ever-living hell out of this thing. But, it deserves to have a beautiful handle. This is some beautiful coca bowl here. There's a little bit, I, I hand plane most, there's a little bit still shown here. It's from the mechanical plane. Like this spot, a little bit over here, but most of it cleaned up flat. Just, I don't know, I just hit it with a hand plane after I bought it. Um, this board in particular, I probably made about I don't know five or six different knife hands or you know knives and use this for the scales already I did a couple out of this and there's a big ass board of uh, purple heart this shit's awesome and it's just amazing just the natural color of it is just this purple in this color not that purple's really a big color that I love or anything but it's not stained or anything it's just an odd color you just think like brown and tan colors and stuff and wood and I have some different other woods of different funky colors like green and stuff and but this stuff here is denser and stronger than hickory. It's just like heavy duty strong dense stuff. So Coca Bowl is really dense and, and strong, but this stuff is like ridiculous strong. And it's about half the price of this crap. This stuff is just ridiculous. Not nearly as much as like ebony and there's other woods even more expensive, but this is just a beautiful wood. I love working with it. I uh, love how all the just all the detail on the grain. There's like mineral streakings in it everywhere. I don't know. I just love it. Nice and dark. No no wood stain on that crap. So that's what this knife is gonna get scaled up with, and I'm gonna beat the ever living hell out of it. And it's gonna be more to come. But I just I had to fire that grinder up and make a knife. So here's the first one I ground out quick. Trying to do a little bit more grinding, drilling my holes for my rivets and lanyard, and get this in the uh, induction furnace and heat treat her up and, and draw it and all that crap. And maybe, well, the weekend's coming up here. I got some uh, hunting to do because spring turkey comes in Saturday. But when I get back at it, beginning of next week, I'll probably I'll have this all heat treated, finished ground, and handle on it. And I'll make an update video then.